Okay, I've been looking for this pet because I like looked up how to find it and like you gotta try and find this top hat here and then you use the lobster jump scare to turn yourself into a blue lobster. I'm gonna grab this though before someone else steals it. You need to be use you have to use that item, you can't use the toy. And you click on this, blue this hat, and then you get the pet. And that's how you get Lord Stanley. Like, it can spawn in, like, a few spots. Like, it can spawn here, about here. There's, like, one, like, up over here. I believe there's one, like, over there. But, like, you have to use the item of, like, the Blue Lobster Jump Scare. You can't use the toy. And then you click on the hat, like you saw there, and it gives you the pet. I've been searching for this for quite some time. Even though it's mostly because I just didn't actually know where the hats appeared. Once I actually knew where to look for the hats, I actually found it straight away. But as you can see, it's a blue lobster with a little hat on it. Um, here's a blue lobster jump scare. Realize I might not have been actually entirely clear on the video because I was like, I was worried someone was going to steal the thing, so I was in a bit of a rush. So I'm just going to add this to the end. The rare you need for the item to turn into the lobster is this rare here, called Clack Attack, which looks like the blue lobster, and he has like pretty much a 50% chance of dropping Clacking Claw. And it has to be the Clacking Claw that you use. You can't use the vibrant Clacking Claw toy. It has to be the item dropped off this guy. So you can probably get off the Orkinos or kill this rare, but as we know, the cavern rares are kind of impossible to solo. So, I just had a few spares, but um, I'll also put the coordinates for like the other spots where the lobster can spawn. And yeah, you need to have the buff of the clacking claw on when you head towards the hat or else he'll run away. Like if you head get too close to the hat without it, they will run away, which is the other thing which I was worried about. Like if another player appeared, they didn't even need the claw, they could just scare away the mob and st uh, despawn it. So make sure you have a clacking claw first and just go to the five spots that I'll put in the description.